That's why I'm the king around here. Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is your boy King Arnett87. Uh, back to you guys again with another video. Today, I want to talk to you guys about summer school. Say what? Yes, I said that right. Summer school. <laughs> now, those of you who may have not went to college or have been to college before, uh, you do have opportunity to take summer courses. Um, and I encourage anybody that's really serious about it and really want to uh, get the schooling out the way to take the, the school courses um, that they offer for the summertime. Summertime is a great opportunity for you. Um, you can start catching up on work. You can actually catch up on some courses and you may even be able to ease out the workload. So you may take some of those harder classes during the summer and then it'll be easier for you throughout the fall and even the spring. Uh, some of the three key points that I will say for you, uh, the first one is going to be to plan out your day. The second one would be to eliminate all distractions and then the third one i will give you is going to be to focus 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 if you don't keep focused you can lose track that's why you don't want distractions around you at that time uh, but summer classes they aren't as bad as it seems it, it is some work because they are a condensed course uh, so you're taking a 14 week course and you're squeezing it down just a little bit further uh, to a 12 week course um, and some of them may even be a seven week course so it's it depends on which course it is and, and how they condense it for you. Uh, but it's definitely worth taking uh, throughout the summer and taking those summer classes to ease up uh, some of the courses that you may have to take later on down the line. So if you can get, knock it out now, you don't have to worry about it later if that makes sense to you. This semester, uh, myself, I'm taking two courses. So I'm taking seven, actually seven hours. I'm actually taking biology. I'm also taking African American literature. Uh, that is a course that I am kind of I'm, I'm I'm excited to be in because it's African American literature and I would definitely love to to learn uh, more about African American literature to see what's out there. Um, but one of the other reasons why is because I actually have a professor that I've already taken before in another course. So that's a real big positive for me to be able to see how she, if if she works the same in one setting that she does in the next setting. The only difference is, is I had a lecture with this class and unfortunately because of the coronavirus, uh, these courses for summer school are all online. There are no in-school or in-lecture courses. Uh, so everything is gonna be done online and I have to complete it online. The only distraction that I may have um, for myself would be uh, that I'm at home 24 seven. Uh, because of the coronavirus, uh, my job was able to allow us to work from home. Um, so I'm actually able to work from home and I'm also able to do my classes from home. And I'm also able to be around my kids and my wife uh, from sun up to sun down. So I'm busy from sun up to sun down with one or the other. Um, and for me, I can't say it's a distraction. However, I do have a three year old and he loves his daddy. Um, and with him wanting to be around me, like, as much as possible while he's up, I promise you, I I can't start working without him asking questions. Hey, what you doing, Daddy? What you doing? Um, so that's not necessarily a big distraction because he. And there are some times where I'm like, hey, go on upstairs, and I come downstairs to the man cave. Uh, but there are some times where it's like, oh man, I'm doing this test right now, TJ. Please, please, just step back, please. Um, but for the most part, he's great. He's three. He had, can't do nothing but expect it. Um, he doesn't really uh, understand the significance of it. Even when I'm working and doing regular work, he thinks that it's homework because I'm at home working. So uh, he thinks that it's homework. He's a great, great kid. Um, but that's my only main, I could say, distraction that I have um, as of going to school during the summer and actually being able to be successful in the classroom or online classroom. It's very well planned out. Uh, most professors do plan the work accordingly and they actually give you uh, a syllabus. And not only with the syllabus, they'll give you a learning schedule that's gonna let you know which dates you need things done on. Um, I just always take it, print it out, and then I highlight anything that I've already done. That way I don't have to go back and forth, back and forth. I actually highlight everything that I've already completed to make it a lot easier on me. Uh, being 33 years old and going back to school, um, 
my mind is in a million different places. So I will be honest with you, when it's time for test time, I my mind goes a million other places than to the work. Like I could be working and I can think to myself, oh man, did I forget to do this for my job? Or I may start something and I may be like, man, did I forget to take out the trash? Um, did I do this? Did I do that? I've always think about different tasks that I have possibly done or that I haven't done. Um, that's the only real negative I can say about uh, doing online courses and working from home uh, with my whole family being in the house. Uh, but other than that, I mean, I can definitely, if I had to grade it on a scale, I would actually put my grade uh, for working from home uh, as a 33-year-old online. Uh, if I had to go from a 1 to 10, I would put it probably at a high 6 maybe. Uh, it's probably like a high six. That's because my focus on test day is shot. Like, I, I'm going to be honest with you. I mean, it's just, it, I do well. Uh, however, I still struggle. Uh, and it may be an internally struggle because on paper, I mean, it, it may look good and I may get the grades, but in my mind, I'm like, oh my gosh, this right here. Please let this finish. Let, let me finish this class. Let me finish this test. And uh, that's kind of how it feels. But for the most part, um, I mean, it's a great opportunity. Uh, summer school is always there. Uh, any college you go to, I'm sure they have college courses. Uh, if you are a uh, upcoming freshman in college or if you are a senior in high school and you're finishing school, um, college courses is honestly the best route to go as far as in the summer. Uh, during that summer between school uh, high school and the transition over into college you can actually if I'm not mistaken as a freshman I think you still can do summer classes so you may even still be able to jump in and get on the summer classes uh, and just get a good start I mean just think about it if you really add up the numbers for an associate's degree for me um, you need 60 credits so if you need 60 credits and you can take six for the summer that means you're going to take six the summer before you get there if you do it that way you can go six the summer before you can go 12 in the fall you would go 12 in the you would go 12 in the spring you already got 30 credits all right so you take six again now in that in that summer you take six again now you take 12 in the fall 12 in the spring and then you graduated at the end of the spring with an associate's degree. And it's the same thing for a bachelor's degree because normally you only need 120 credits. So if you need 120 credits, all you gotta do is repeat that process and double it. So you're doing the same thing and getting the same workout. So with that being said, the best route is to do summer classes and get it out of the way and take as many courses as you can uh, to get certain courses out the way. I mean, you got some courses you won't be able to do on during the summer because it's just not a schedule for those classes. But for the most part, take summer classes, uh, take them serious and get classes out the way, man. Like that's the best thing. That's the best thing I could tell you to do. Um, I've been back in school for a year and a half now and I'll be done. I mean, if I took the other two classes during the summer, I could be done with in the summer. Uh, but because I don't want to bulk up my, my workload, I want to make it as even as possible. Uh, so I got two classes in summer, two classes in the fall, and I'm out. And that's what I like about it. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and leave it up to you guys. Please look down here and subscribe for me. Go ahead and subscribe, comment, like. Uh, if you got topics you want me to talk about, uh, because you may be in the same situation or you may be contemplating on going back into school, or you may even be uh, someone who is not 33. You may be a little bit younger and you may say, hey, I want to get back into school. What are my options? I can't tell you everybody's options. I can just give you the options that I have in the area where I live, um, but I can give you information that you may even be able to look up some resources. So you can comment down below, uh, make sure that you subscribe, click, hit that subscribe button. Uh, I look forward to uh, talking to you guys. Uh, if not, the, by the end of this week, I'm possibly gonna uh, come back in next week and we'll, we'll get back to it. All right, so I got some class words to do. I am out of here. This is King Arnett 87. That's why I'm the king.